And now, your weather forecast. Sponsored by Reisterer and Schnell. Well, it's been a warm start to the new year. Here are the January stats so far, running about eight degrees above average. Now, it's also been a dry start to the new year, about half inch below normal. And here's a snowfall entering Thursday. So keep in mind, this does not count the Thursday night into Friday morning snowfall. But January on the month, running about five inches below normal. And guess what? On the season, we're running about 12 inches below normal. Quite the difference from where we stood last year. Last year, we were well above normal on the season. But guess what? There's a change in that temperature pattern coming. So we've seen those warmer temperatures through the first half of the month, but notice as we get to January 17th, we could see some of those cooler temperatures start to dive on in. Now, so far through this winter, those colder temperatures have been bottled up by the polar jet stream up at the poles, but some of that cool air may leak southward. So as we get to January 20th, January 21st, just after that is when we could see some of that cooler air leak in into Wisconsin, but it looks like the majority of that cold air is going to be in the Dakotas and Montana. So colder to air to close the month is a possibility. Now here's a drought monitor right now. Most of that drought off to our west and in parts of Wisconsin, but not much drought in northeast Wisconsin. Now precipitation through the 10 days. Keep in mind this keeps into track both the snowfall and rainfall liquid equivalent. So over the next 10 days, expect about three tenths of an inch. Looks like most of that precipitation will be off to our south. Now precipitation outlook by the Climate Prediction Center. Now this is counting eight to 14 days out. Looks like we're gonna be above normal throughout much of the central US in terms of temperature as well. So as I mentioned, those cooler temperatures from that poor jet look like they're gonna get into the western portions of the United States. Some of that cooler air could leak into Wisconsin, but still temperatures pretty close to normal. Above normal temperatures off to our south. Now here are those high temperatures over the next 12 days. So pretty normal over the next couple days, but then we hit January 20th.